good morning myself muniraj naidu assistant professor department of computer science and engineering working at institute of aeronautical engineering hyderabad so in this video i am going to discuss about uh, segmentation concept uh, in operating system so what is uh, segmentation what is the purpose of uh, segmentation how segmentation is uh, differs from the paging and what is the architecture of uh, segmentation and uh, with the example how the segmentation is accomplished in memory management so let us uh, look into this uh, segmentation concept uh, we have uh, important sub concepts here segmentation architecture hardware segmentation hardware and uh, the example for segmentation so what is the overview of uh, segmentation so we know whenever the processor executes the process that particular process is divided into certain sub parts so according to the segmentation those sub parts here we can call it as a segments so the process is divided into the segments and the chunks that a program is divided into which are not necessarily all of the same sizes those are called as a segments so because according to our previous concept uh, that is a uh, paging each and uh, every process is divided into the fixed sized blocks that means in the form of uh, frames as well as the in the form of uh, pages whereas in case of segmentation the program is divided into certain parts those are called as a segments so this segmentation gives a users view of the process users view of the process so this particular users view doesn't happen in paging concept so basically we have two types of uh, segmentation one is a virtual memory segmentation second one is a simple segmentation virtual memory segmentation in the sense each and every process is divided into the number of segments but not all of which are resident at any one point in time that is a virtual memory segmentation each process is divided into the number of segments not all of which are resident at any one point in time whereas simple segmentation that is another type of segmentation simple segmentation in the sense here each and every process which is divided into the number of segments but all of which are loaded into memory at run time all of which are loaded into the memory at run time but those segments are not necessarily in a contiguous manner so that is the simple segmentation simple segmentation so basically we have two types of segmentation virtual memory segmentation and uh, simple segmentation and we know one common thing whenever the processor generates the logical address that particular logical address is divided into the two parts one is uh, segment number and uh, segment uh, offset so according to the segmentation there is no simple relationship between logical addresses and uh, physical addresses in segmentation 
here a table which stores the information about all such segments that is called as a segment table that is called as a segment table segment table is a table which stores the information about all such segments that is called as a segment table so in case of segmentation this uh, segment table which maps two dimensional logical addresses into one dimensional physical address segment table maps two dimensional logical address into one dimensional physical address so each table entry has a base address and a limit each segment table entry has a base entry as well as the limit so what is a base address you know base address which contains the starting physical address where the segments resides in the memory where the segments resides in the memory see this is segment 1 segment 2 segment 3 segment 4 so 0 250 400 700 800 so this particular segment table maps two dimensional logical address into the one dimensional physical address each and every segment table which consists of base address and the limit so base address in the sense what is the starting physical address where the segments resides in the memory see for example here for segment 1 zero is the starting physical address whereas a limit specifies the length of the segment so according to this example the starting physical address is 0 whereas a limit is 250 because the limit which specifies the length of the segment so that specifies that uh, the brief introduction about uh, segmentation then coming to this uh, characteristics of segmentation characteristics of segmentation so when compared to the previous memory management uh, techniques the segmentation partitioning scheme is a uh, variable size segmentation partitioning scheme is variable size so here the partitions of the secondary memory are commonly known as uh, segments so this is a important characteristic uh, because this is a peculiar characteristic when compared to the remaining memory management uh, techniques uh, so partitions of the secondary memory those are commonly known as the segments and the segmentation partition scheme is a uh, variable size in case of segmentation partition size mainly depends upon the length of the modules length of the modules because here each and every time the secondary memory is uh, partitioned into the segments so depends upon the module length here the partition size may varies so with the help of the segmentation technique secondary memory and main memory are divided into the unequal sized partitions so in case of segmentation both secondary memory and main memory are divided into unequal sized partitions right so there is no uh, fixed size for uh, each and every partition then coming to the after completion of uh, after knowing this characteristics what is the need of segmentation why we study this segmentation what is the importance of segmentation particularly in memory management so which describes the need of uh, segmentation so whatever the memory management uh, techniques uh, which are available previously so for example if you take the paging concept so that particular paging concept is having some drawbacks so those drawbacks are overcoming with the help of this uh, segmentation concept so what is the need of segmentation see one of the important drawbacks of memory management in the operating system is a separation of 
यूजर्स व्यू ऑफ मेमोरी एंड द एक्चुअल फिजिकल मेमोरी सो वॉट एपन वॉट एवर द प्रीवियस कॉन्सेप्ट स्टडी देर देर इज ए चांस फॉर सेपरेशन ऑफ यूजर्स व्यू ऑफ मेमोरी एंड द एक्चुअल फिजिकल मेमोरी एंड पर्टिकुलरली द प्रीवियस मेमोरी मैनेजमेंट टेक्निक दट इज अ पेजिंग which provides the separations of these two primary memory as well as the secondary memory so here users view is basically mapped into the physical storage users view is physically mapped into the physical storage that mapping allows there is a some differentiation between physical memory and uh, logical memory in some scenarios it's possible that each and every operating system divides the same function into the different uh, pages the operating system divides the same function into the different uh, pages and those pages may or may not be loaded into the memory but at the same time the operating system doesn't care about the users view of the process so whenever the operating system doesn't care about the users view of a process then automatically it uh, affects on the system's uh, efficiency so what happens uh, gradually the system's efficiency is uh, decreased so hence to overcome that particular drawback and to increase the system's uh, efficiency we have to go for the better technique that is the segmentation segmentation is a better technique because it divides the process into various segments it divides the process into the various uh, segments see here segmentation is one of the memory management scheme that supports uh, users view of memory that is a uh, very important because whatever the previous memory management techniques uh, those techniques uh, doesn't support the users view of memory whereas only segmentation which supports the users view of a uh, memory so simply say that uh, a program is a collection of segments a program is a collection of segments whereas uh, segment is a logical unit such as main program procedure and function method object local variables and global variables common block stack symbol table and uh, arrays so the segment may be any one of these or combination of uh, some segments like main program procedure method object local variables global variables stack symbol table arrays whatever it is see this is the users view of a program we know segmentation is one of the memory management technique which allows for variable sized segments so this is the users view of a program here see these are all the segments stack subroutine square root symbol table main program so these are all the various uh, segments these segments are in different size when compared to the remaining segments understood see this logical address which consists of uh, various segments like stack one subroutine that is called as stack another one is subroutine symbol table main program and uh, square root then coming to the next one what is the logical view of segmentation logical view of segmentation see here this is the a logical address space that is a user space here we know various uh, segments are in a different uh, size right see this is segment 1 so sometimes in case of the segment 1 uh, 
there is a stack and another time there is a subroutine something so whatever it is whatever the segments which are available in the user space those are stored in the physical memory of space so that represents here the logical view of a segmentation see one thing here we don't have such memory blocks in secondary storage memory in a contiguous manner so let us say this is a segment 1 segment 4 segment 2 and segment 3 so remaining are uh, empty so that represents uh, how the logical view of uh, segmentation that is uh, how the user process are mapped with the physical address space or physical memory then coming to the next one segmentation architecture segmentation architecture so we know whenever the processor generates uh, some logical address that particular logical address uh, consists of uh, two components uh, one is a uh, segment number another one is uh, offset one is segment number and uh, another one is segment of offset so that is uh, represented that is the logical address represented with the help of a tuple like segment number and offset so what is the segment table we know which maps two dimensional physical addresses each and every table entry has base address and a limit so base address in the sense which contains the starting physical address where the segment resides in the memory and the limit specifies that uh, what is the length of that particular uh, segment so that represents the segment uh, table now we have segment table base register and segment table uh, length register segment table base register which points to the segment tables location in the memory so stbr segment table base register which points to the segment tables location in the memory whereas next one segment table length register segment table length register which indicates the number of segments used by the program number of uh, segments used by the program so officially these segments numbers are registered like segment number small s is legal if s is less than segment table length register so segment number is legal if that particular segment number is less than segment table length register see this is the segmentation uh, hardware see we know this is the processor which generates logical address that particular logical address consists of segment number and uh, segment uh, offset now we have to combine with this uh, segment number with the segment table so here the segment number which acts as a limit to the segment number and and this is the segment table you know segment table which consists of a base as well as the limit base specifies the starting address whereas limit specifies the length of that particular uh, segment now we have to combine this particular limit as well as the offset if it is less than 0 then automatically we can call it as a that is a addressing error if it is uh, combined with segment table and not table that will helpful whenever the operating system follows this uh, segmentation hardware now let's look into this uh, example of uh, segmentation you know this is the logical address space and this is the physical memory according to the segmentation the logical address space is divided into the variable sized uh, segments 
variable size segment. See segment zero subroutine one. This is the size of this particular subroutine. And uh, segment two. This is the main program. And segment three. There is a stack. Segment four symbol table. And segment one. That is a square root. So the logical address space which consists of variable size segments. Up to now clear. Then we know the segment table which consists of base as well as the limit. See, this is the segment number. We know segment number acts as a input, right? See, this is the base for segment zero. This is the base for segment one, segment two, segment three, segment four. See what is the base for segment one? Sorry, segment uh, zero, one four double zero. See this is the base for segment zero, and the limit. You know, limit is the length of that particular segment. That is thousand, fourteen hundred plus thousand. That is two four double zero. So this is first segment. That is segment zero. Then similarly. Next segment that is segment one. The length of that particular segment is four hundred, whereas the base is six thousand three hundred. See here for segment one, the base is six thousand three hundred. And the limit is four uh, hundred. So six three plus four six seven. So like this, the physical memory which allocates uh, various uh, segments uh, according to the segment uh, table. So in this uh, example, we have basically one two three four five. So here we need to mention with zero. So totally. There are five segments uh, numbered from zero to four. So these segments will be stored in the physical memory. How? We know there is separate entry for each segment in the segment table, which contains uh, the beginning entry address of the segment in the physical memory. That is, we can call as a base address, and which is also contains the uh, length of the segment. Length of the segment. That particular length here we need to represent with the help of the limit. So, for example, here, see here, the segment two, which is having only four hundred bytes uh, long, and begins at location four three double zero. So, in this scenario, a reference to a byte like fifty three of segment two is mapped onto the location. So fifty three byte of segment two, which is mapped onto the location four three double zero. So according to the segmentation, we have to add that particular reference to byte. So four thousand three hundred plus fifty three, because four thousand three hundred is the starting location of that particular segment. And a reference to the segment three. Uh, Base is three two double zero and limit is one one double zero. So a byte eighty five is mapped to the three thousand two hundred. So that is the base of the segment uh, three. Base of the segment uh, three three two double zero plus eighty five. Similarly, a reference to the byte. One two double two of segment zero would result in the trap of operating system because the length of this segment is only thousand bytes long. So this is the example of segmentation. So let us look into this uh, one particular example, like a uh, Intel Pentium processor. So, in case of uh, Intel Pentium, 
which supports both segmentation and segmentation with the uh, paging. So the Intel Pentium processor which supports both segmentation and segmentation with paging. Here also processor generates the logical address. The particular logical address is given to the segmentation unit which produces the linear addresses where each and every linear address uh, which maps to the given paging unit. Now, this particular linear address which generates the physical address in the main memory. So, here the paging units which forms the equivalent of a hardware device like a MMU, memory management unit. See how the segmentation will work in case of a Intel Pentium processor. First one is a logical to physical translation in peer. Logical to physical address translation in Pentium. See, processor generates a logical address and segmentation uh, unit. Then segmentation unit to the sum linear message to the paging unit and then from paging unit to the physical memory with the help of the physical address. So we know, for example, let us consider uh, 32 bits here, the page number is divided into the 80 percent and the page number is divided into the 12. So, you know the syntax of uh, segmentation page number and a page offset page number and page offset. So, here the page number which occupies the 20 bits and page offset is occupies the 10 bits. See, this is the Intel Pentium segmentation architecture, how the logical address is generated into the physical address. This is the selector and this is the offset. So, in case of Intel Pentium uh, segmentation, we have descriptor table. So, here the selector which acts as an input to the segment uh, descriptor and here the offset which is combined with this particular uh, segment descriptor and which produces the 32 bit linear address. So, whatever the address generated by the processor which is divided into the segment number and segment uh, offset. You know segment number that is number of bits required to represent that particular segment and segment offset is number of bits required to represent the size of the segment. Then translation of two dimensional logical address to one dimensional uh, physical address, two dimensional logical address to one dimensional physical address. See, every time the processor generates logical address, that particular logical address consists of segment number and segment uh, offset. You know, segment number which acts as an input to the segment uh, table and this particular logical address is, will maps with segmentation table. See that it represents here D less than uh, limit. If it is D less than limit, then it will combine with the again XOR operation and it will uh, produce us this particular uh, displacement in the physical address. Whereas the D less than limit is not equal to, is, is not less than the limit, that condition is fails, then it shows uh, error. So, the physical address space which occupies both base as well as the base and uh, limit. Then coming to this uh, advantages and disadvantages of uh, segmentation. So, you know we have number of uh, advantages of segmentation when compared to the paging technique, but still this segmentation will suffer uh, 
from some disadvantages. So let us look into these advantages of uh, segmentation. In case of segmentation, the segment table is mainly used to keep track of the records of segments. Right. So that means which segments are free, which segments are allocated. And also the segment table which occupies uh, less space when compared to the paging table. Segment table which occupies uh, less space as compared to the paging table. This is another uh, important advantage. There is uh, no internal fragmentation in segmentation. There is no internal fragmentation. You know what is meant by internal fragmentation. See what happens uh, in the previous technique, uh, each and every time the logical address is generated into the two parts, one is a page number and another one is a page offset. So each and every time here, we need to divide into various fixed sized blocks. So what happens here, whenever we, we need to fix on that particular block size, then if any newly arrived process is less than that particular block side, block side automatically some space is uh, wasted. That is here we can call as internal fragmentation. So in case of uh, segmentation, there is no internal fragmentation because each and every time, each and every time the users, the logical address space is divided into the variable size segments. So depends upon the process size, here the segment is uh, created. So there is no wastage in uh, segmentation that is we need to represent here. There is no internal fragmentation. Then segmentation generally allows us to divide the program into modules which provide better visualization. Segmentation generally allows us to divide the program into the modules that provides better visualization. So we know in case of segmentation, each and every segment is uh, vary its size when compared to the others. So the segments are variable size. So these many number of uh, advantages are there over here. Sorry. Then coming to the disadvantages of uh, segmentation. So first one is uh, Maintaining a segment table for each and every process which leads to overhead. Maintaining a segment table separately for each and every process uh, that is somewhat a uh, headache process. Then this technique particularly is expensive. This is only one technique in memory management uh, which is expensive and compared to the remaining techniques. So the time is taken in order to fetch the instructions which increases since two memory accesses are required. So whatever the time in order to fetch the instruction, that particular time it increases since now two memory accesses are required. Then another drawback in case of segmentation, segments are of unequal size and thus that is not suitable for swapping. See, in case of uh, swapping, whenever the main memory is not acceptable in newly arrived process because of uh, lagging of space, then what happens here? The main memory, whatever the content which consists of in main memory, the processor swaps some of the processes to the backing store and it accepts newly arrived process for execution purpose. Whereas in case of segmentation, here each and every segment uh, which is unequal sized, so that is not suitable for the swapping because uh, the processor does not know that uh, uh, what is the newly arrived process size and what is the already existing segment uh, in the logical memory. So this particular technique which leads to external fragmentation. Advantage is there is no internal fragmentation. Drawback is uh, there is uh, external fragmentation because uh, the free space which gets divided into the smaller pieces along with the processing which are loaded and removed from the main memory. So what happens based upon this particular practice uh, 
a lot of memory is uh, wasted a lot of memory is uh, wasted so these are the drawbacks of uh, segmentation right so i hope uh, you understood this uh, concept segmentation this is a very important concept in particularly in operating system what is segmentation what is the purpose of segmentation what are the various types of segmentation what is the architecture of segmentation and we need to explain that particular uh, uh, segmentation concept with one example right then we have taken this particular intel pentium uh, example right and finally pros and cons of uh, segmentation guys i hope you understand this particular concept please follow iari youtube channel for further videos thank you guys yours mundraj nayak like share and subscribe hit the bell icon for more updates